Hi again, everyone. Today, we've got the ViewSonic LS800 HD. Let's take a look. Great. So we have in front of us a projector from ViewSonic. ViewSonic is not a uh, company that we have uh, done a lot of demos with the projectors for, but we have a great relationship with these guys and they've been in the industry forever. Uh, you probably know them from a lot of their home theater or home entertainment units. Um, they have some great budget projectors for uh, you know small medium businesses, conference rooms, but they are getting into the installation uh, market uh, more and more. And this is what we're talking about today. This is the LS800 HD. This is a 5,000 lumen uh, laser DLP projector. So this is meant to go into large classrooms, university classrooms, auditoriums, um, you know, depending on where you place it, you're gonna get a great image. And the benefit of having laser, as we've mentioned a hundred times before, is that the light consistency out of this projector, out of, a, out of any laser projector, is going to be uh, much higher than it is with a lamp-based unit. So for example, uh, a lamp-based unit, you run that thing for a few hundred hours and you are diminishing your total light output uh, by whatever percentage. With a laser unit, that down, downward trend lasts years and years and years. After three or four years, you're still at 80% of the light output. So this thing is gonna produce a lot of light for a long, long time. That's really all you need to know about it. And you don't ever have to replace a bulb. So um, if you're looking for a bright projector that you can install, you don't have to worry about a lot of maintenance with, uh, this is a great unit for you. Also it has a great blend in design. This thing looks like it belongs on uh, the 2001 Space Odyssey ship with HAL. Uh, it's really kind of sleek and uh, not menacing on the front. It's a little bit long as uh, Daniel will show you here in a second and then we'll talk about the backs and the front, uh, the tops and the inputs. Uh, but this is 5,000 lumen laser DLP, like I mentioned. It's 10,001 contrast. Uh, it has some uh, fine vertical and horizontal lens shift on this for play, uh, uh, installation flexibility. And then you have a nice uh, zoom, 1.65 optical zoom. You have the ability to uh, manage the focus uh, from the top. And this thing connects to Crestron, I believe AMX. So if you have room messaging systems or emergency messaging, it's gonna plug in there. You can also monitor the device and do things like turn on, turn off uh, at certain times. But with the laser, also, you can keep this thing running almost around the clock um, without it overheating like a lamp-based unit would. Um, so with all that being said, let's take a look at these inputs and then we'll take a look at this thing in action. All right, great. So we're looking at the back of the LS800 HD uh, and continuing with the Spartan appearance of this, uh, of this unit, we have uh, quite a number of inputs. We have three HDMI inputs. Again, this is a HD unit. Uh, there is a sister unit, which is a WUXJ version, which is a little bit brighter. Uh, everything else is pretty much the same, but uh, for the purpose of this uh, video, we are looking at an HD unit. We have three HDMI. These are all uh, 1.4 uh, HDMIs. Uh, you have your network connectivity here, your LAN cable, where you can do all your monitoring. Uh, this is HD base T ready, so it will accept an HD base T signal, so you can run all your inputs uh, through a device, you know, 200, 250 feet away, um, as long as you have a transmitter through a single cable, that's fantastic. Uh, then you have your monitor out, of course, your, your computer VGA in, so if you want to send it to another device. Uh, your RS-232 controls, that's great. You have an audio out. Uh, and then you have your audio in and a mic in if you want to do some presentations uh, in a conference room. Uh, then you have your components here, uh, audio, video. Uh, this is capable of 3D sync, which is fantastic if you need that functionality. Uh, and then you have your mini USB and your USB uh, regular uh, unit that probably for firmware or for maybe doing uh, picture displays or something like that. Uh, and then if we take a look, I don't know what they've been feeding this thing, but it is kind of heavy. Um, we have access to all the menu items from the bottom of the projector, which will wind up being the top if you install it. Uh, menu, source, easily switch between all that. And then four corner keystone correction, and that's probably auto keystone there. And then, I don't know if Danny can get this up here. You get that? Uh, and then here we have our fine lens shift. 
Uh, we have around 11 or 12% vertical uh, lens shift, which is this one actually. Um, and then you have around 5% either way uh, lens shift for horizontal. Vertical is always what you want more of um, because it's probably gonna go down like that. And then you have uh, your zoom here. And then on the front of the projector, uh, you have easy access to your focus. So that's super smooth. So let's take a look at this thing in action and see how it looks.